Cody McDougal making the walk. We last saw him here at a Muay Thai fight against Mark Murphy, where he scored a second round TKO. Now he's taking out the big gloves, taking off the shin pads, and throwing around the little gloves to showcase his skills in the MMA arena. Yeah, I remember, uh, you know, when Brody McDougal, his last fight, um, so he's, he was, he's 1 0 in MMA, but in his last fight, he was coming off an injury and wanted to test the waters of Muay Thai before he goes back to MMA. So this is what he really wants to do here. He's 1-0 in MMA, 1-0 in Muay Thai, so this guy, you know, he's, you know he's well-rounded. Yeah, his, uh, in his corner, regional MMA legend, Devin Powell, he came up to me before the fights and said, listen, McDougal, he's going to MMA, 170. He wants to make a case for the 170 belt since Jack Congan is possibly going vacant and going to uh, pro, make his pro debut. So he's trying to make a case for that belt, and uh, he said, don't, you know, keep an eye out on this kid. Well, just in his tenacity and his desire to finish fights alone, he's making a quick early case to make a run at that gold right now. I think that he is a very aggressive striker. Can't wait to see his grappling skills on display here as well. Brody McDougal coming from Nostosa, very decorated camp in the corner, and they're making a splash as a team in general. Yeah, always savages coming out of Nostos. No, a little so bit of an intense walkout, I'm not going to lie. It That's is. pretty cool, I like it. I dig it. You no, know, so it's always making the trip down, always bringing the talent. Very good team. Brody McDougal making his inaugural Cage Titans walk in the MMA arena. Second walk here. But it's a totally different sport, mixed martial arts and Muay Thai. We've definitely experience it. Very different game, very different camp preparation. Way different. So I'm excited to see this kid's full skill set as he takes on the debuting Ben Ratko out of Triforce. Playing some, can I, I love this classical music walk. Okay, okay. very cool. Man. Honestly, this is more wild than the other one, I think. Dig it. The Ginger Ninja, as he's known as. I love it, too. Some pretty cool nicknames about to be screamed at this one. Ben Bracco, one of my teammates here. Very yes, interesting story here with Ben because here's a guy who has a, a, a background in traditional martial arts. This guy was supposed to make his debut all the way back in like 2009. Wow. Right? He was training with a guy just doing karate, not really, not much with uh, jujitsu because this was in the early days. His coach came to him and said, hey, I might have a fight for you. You don't have to take it if you don't want it, but you, you're probably going to lose. The guy was Dan Lozon. Ah. So he was going to take it. He thought about it. His coach decided against it, so he didn't end up taking it. He's Don't say a word, but if you can hear me, tap your head. And, um, yeah, so he ended up, he was supposed to make his debut in, I think, 2016. Didn't happen. So, I mean, this guy, he's just, he's been waiting for a long time for this moment. Yeah, I mean, 13 years waiting in the wings. Gets it against the young up-and-comer who's looking to make a run at the end of the title. I like it. The Ginger Ninja, Ben Bradko. Thank you for the insight there. I mean, they people fighting, you never know what you're going to get. But what are we looking for in this man? Yeah, you know, like I said, traditional martial arts. He's got that karate sideways style. Uh, blue belt jiu-jitsu. So this guy, you know, he's well-rounded. But uh, striking is his forte, for sure. He's fired up in this classical music right now. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> it's pretty sick. It's not super common. At the welterweight division, scheduled for three rounds, three minutes apiece. Introducing to you first, standing in the red corner, holding an amateur mixed martial arts record of one victory and no defeats. He stands six feet two inches tall, and he weighed in at 169 pounds. From Rochester, New Hampshire, he's representing Nostos. Let's hear it for Brody, the American psycho, McDougal. And now, introducing his opponent, standing across from him in the blue corner, standing at 5 feet 10 inches tall, he weighed in at 168 pounds. From Lincoln, Rhode Island, he's representing Triforce. Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise, for tonight he makes his mixed martial arts debut, 
let's hear it for Ben the Ginger Ninja Bratko. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of this contest is Steve Rita. Here we go, both guys ready to go. I'm excited for this one. Walter Way bout. Oh, high intensity in there. Very intense. Black and red for McDougal. Straight black for Bratko. They touch him up and a nice kick early from McDougal. Big kicks. There's that karate style side kick you're talking there it about. Is. All kicks though so far. Yeah, no kidding. In They're the both here. Both chucking shins at each other. Brody McDougal, big guy at this weight, six two. But uh, Bren was originally supposed to fight Bobby Homer, who's another really tall guy. So he's been training for this. I think there might be already a cut on uh, Bracco. Cut where? Maybe over his eyebrow. I nice could be wrong. Ooh, Ooh bad right intentions hand. on that right hand from Bradko. Nice knee from McDougal. Looks like it might have found the liver. And the clench air. Oh, yeah, that's a cut. Yep. Ooh, right at, yeah, right on the brow. A couple of boo boos here tonight at Gates. Going for that head and arm throw. Big takedown there. Back. Talk name Brody McDougal has. McDougal's not just limited to Muay Thai, we see. Oh, he lets him up. Oh, wow. McDougal ripping some kicks, man. Giving him his back here. You may want to. Yeah, in a bad spot. And Bracco tried to spin after he broke the grips, and he's throwing oh, and that's throwing down. Inside. Oh, Ooh. looking for the takedown here. Nice balance from McDougal. Good hips. I like the right hand that Bracco's throwing off the break. He's come close a couple times, oh. overextending there. Oh, nice head kick. Looks like it grazed the temple. Oh, oh. there's a hook kick. Lost his balance as he landed that hook kick, but that was pretty slick. He got his foot up there. He's a tall dude, McDougal. It looked like it landed pretty flush. Oh, side control here, or sorry, half guard here. A couple of those traditional karate kicks thrown in the early stanza of this fight from Ben the Ginger Ninja Bradco. McDougal's in a great spot. He's literally right in his corner, and uh, Devin Powell just telling him exactly what to do here. Looking up, go to full guard. There it is. Good jujitsu here from both guys. Big, ground heavy leather. I don't know if I'd want to be too comfortable staying in full guard. Rounds over anyway. All right, interesting first round. Brody McDougal, so confident. He's working the crowd. Interesting first round. Both guys had their moments. A lot of kick battles there. Yeah. McDougal throwing some heavy leg kicks. Dougal's going like two or three in a row at the same leg. I mean, really targeting at that lead leg. During the getup, too, he was throwing at the leg as, as Bracco was on his back. Uh, Bracco was on his back. And as he's getting up, instead of attacking the head, he's kicked the leg. It's right there. Very interesting. Kind of yeah. creative and kind of surprising. Not many people do that. During a technical get up, that lead leg is there to attack. And, and once again, did. it's it's just more money in the bank again. Yep, for sure. And Bracco electing not to take a seat on the stool. <laughs> Round two coming up. Bracco looking like a seasoned striker in his own right. He's going to make some adjustments to deal with the longer opponent, McDougal. 
Tilgo is going to come out hard immediately with the kick. Another low one again. Oh, nice right, right hand. Backo might have, might have rocked the Google for a spin. Oh, oh, there's a spin to the face. Wow. Oh, my goodness. Nice right hand from McDougal on These the return, guys are though. throwing down. I think McDougal just barely blocked that spinning back kick to the face. Oh, just my in God. Time. Even if it hit arms, though. Yeah, and exactly. That was clean. That was beautiful. That was. That's the type of oh. stuff that you can get from a karate guy. Racco might be finding his groove. Oh! oh yeah, beautiful my stoppage. God. Great stoppage. Just in time. And Knocked it was right as Bracco landed a shot oh. of his own. McDougal eats the back fist, pulls back, and fires that right hand Big down right the pipe hand. and slept Ben Bracco. And good Steve Reader jumped in at the precise right time to stop that follow-up shot from landing cleanly, too. But oh uh, great, great stoppage from referee Steve Reader there. And man, the power of McDougal shown on display here again at Cage Titans. That's as clean of a shot what as a you fight. can ask for right there. That wow. was insane. Yeah, Dropped him. Was... Mouthpiece might have came out during that. Wow. Yeah, it was the counter, too. You know, Ben came in hard with that right hand and uh, kind of left himself open. And Brody McDougal took advantage of it. Landed a beautiful right hand. Can you say knockout of the year contender? And he wants the belt. He wants that belt. He wants, he wants it. Belt. Duly noted. I think he wants the belt, guys. Duly noted. <laughs> Duly noted. He wants it. I like it. He's confident. The American Brody Psycho McDougal. is going psychotic oh, right man. now. Very psychotic. Oh, he's loving it. What a win on his end. Hey, you don't have to tell us. You tell it to Johnny Campbell possibly in a little bit. Oof, what a fight, man. Wow. They were trading there. I mean, someone was bound to get caught when you're throwing heavy leather like that. Not to take anything away from Bracco either, though. Bracco was right. landing some good shots. That, that spinning back kick, like, that landed clean that up top. Nice. And it had power on it. Ladies and gentlemen, keep the noise going for these two. Referee Steve Rita has called a stop to this contest at 35 seconds of round number two, giving you your winner by knockout, Brody, the American psycho, McDougal.